Hello there monsters and men, ladies and people, and welcome to Recharging. Yeah, you see it right, my dear viewers, I am in Germany. But no, this will not be a top speed range test because that is a different video, which you can check out somewhere on my channel or maybe in this YouTube window. No, this is the normal range test of the Volkswagen ID Bus. The Volkswagen ID Bus with the 77 kilowatt hour battery pack and a 204 horsepower motor. It has a WLTP range of 413 kilometers. So, that's it, let's go, right? No, a little bit more information, a little bit more. So, the WLTP range is 413 kilometers. The drag coefficient of the ID Buzz is 0.28, and for this type of car, I think that is pretty good. You still do have a lot of surface area though, but I have to say, for this type of car, from my experience so far, the ID Buzz is an efficient one. Well, it is on the MEB platform, and the MEB platform is known to be an efficient platform. So, let's see how far the ID Buzz will go. You know the drill, I will do one test at 90 km per hour to simulate those mixed driving conditions, and I will do one test at 130 km per hour. There is a thing though, because dark clouds are coming, so it will be raining tonight. That is the weather forecast, it will be raining. Maybe during my 130 km per hour test, it will still be dry. But during my 90 test, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to rain, so that is a bummer. But the temperature is good though, between 18 and 22, 23 degrees, sorry, between 18 and 23 degrees Celsius, and there isn't a lot of wind. So the car is charging up, and then let's go. Before the 90 kilometers per hour test that I am doing at the moment, I did my top speed range test and the 130 kilometers per hour test. But to keep things a little bit more exciting-ish, maybe, okay, yeah. The 90 test is not exciting at all. But to keep things a little bit more interesting for me, in those other tests, I went north and now I'm heading south. So I have other scenery, which, well, again, makes it a little bit more interesting for me. Anyway, the car has used 10% state of charge and under 10%, I have done 38 kilometers. So that means 380 kilometers of range. But I have to admit though that the car is battling headwind at the moment. I'm trying to find a turnaround point and then I will turn around. And then I think the consumption will go down. I expect the consumption to go down. Currently it is 22.2 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. But I have seen lower. I have seen lower while driving this car. So again, I have good faith that when I turn around the consumption will drop. Yeah. So yeah, I will keep on, I mean, I will keep on cruising and then you will see me. Alrighty, time for the second and also the last 90 kilometers per hour update. Sounds a bit like a news item now. Anyway, um, yeah, the car has used 33% state of charge and on that 33%, I have driven around 126 to 127 kilometers. So the range now is more 380 kilometers and not the 413 of claimed WLTP range. I'm not going to make that. I will never going to make that anymore. So yeah, the consumption has gone down though, because when I was driving uh, against the wind, so when I had headwind, I had 22.2 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. I'm currently doing 19.9 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So that is a big improvement. I think if you want to reach the WLTP range, you should do 19, 18 and a half kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. But yeah, I mean, it's still a brick. So I think the wind is playing a big factor in this consumption. If there is no wind, then yeah, you probably can do the WLTP range. If you have only tailwind, you can do more than the WLTP range. But at the moment, no, it's not going to make it. It's not going to make it. The final result, you will hear from me when I arrive at the charger, when I have driven around 50% state of charge. 
From what I can see on camera, my head is pretty dark and that is because I'm sitting relatively far away from this light. Hello, Ooh. yeah, I'm not going to do that, <laughs> no worry. I'm not going to play a ghost. You can hear me, that is the most important thing. Anyway, time for the result of the 90 km per hour test. I started the test with 72% state of charge and I stopped the test at 27%. So that means I've used 45%. I know, only 45%. I said I would do around 50%, but I didn't feel like it anymore. I've done too many range tests this evening. Again, didn't feel like it anymore, and the result wouldn't change anyway because the consumption was very stable. So I have, I have driven 45% state of charge for this test. On that 45% though, I have done 173 kilometers. So you can do in summer with the ID bus, 384 kilometers on mixed roads. The average consumption was 19.6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So yeah, 384, that is not the 413 of WLTP range. And I think that's going to be a tough one because well, this is a box on wheels. A box catches a lot of wind. So when there is some wind, I don't think you can make 413 kilometers. The two ways you can achieve 413 kilometers are, well, you have to drive in summer, then there are two ways. There must be no wind and you drive 90 kilometers per hour or you drive in the city. Or maybe if you cheat, you drive with tailwind all the way. Then yeah, you can exceed the WLTP range. But when there is some wind and you drive 90 kilometers per hour on the highway, I think it's going to be very tough to achieved the WLTP range of 413 kilometers. And in winter, I think in winter you can forget it. But still, 19.6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers for this type of car, I think that's pretty good. I think that's very well done. Yeah, I do think so. So yeah, that was the result. Um, it's time for the 130 kilometers power test. Or, well, it's time, I've already done it, but you will see it now in the video. I'm a noob. During the most fun part of the 130 km per hour test, I did not turn on my microphone. What do I mean with the most fun part? The acceleration. The acceleration from 0 to 100 km an hour. My microphone wasn't on. Okay, well, I have to admit, in this car it is probably not the most fun part and that is because from 0 to 100 the ID bus takes 10 seconds. 10 seconds. You heard it right, 10 seconds. For an electric car, that is pretty slow. Of course, it is quick enough, especially for this type of car, but again, for an electric car, 10 seconds is pretty slow to 100 kilometers an hour. Besides that, it is a comfortable car though. Even though it is a high car, there is not a lot of wind noise. There is barely any wind, but still. And it is quiet in here. Yeah, it is a comfortable car to drive in, so. Let's keep on cruising, 100 kilo 100, 130 kilometers an hour, and well, I will give you an update in between. So I have been cruising for 56 kilometers. The car has used 20% state of charge, so 56 times five is uh, 275-ish. I think I'm right. Yeah, I'm right. 275 kilometers, as it seems like right now that this car can do while driving 130 kilometers per hour. I think it's all a lie because I said I will have side wind during my intro, but the wind is changing. If I go, if I go back again to the charger, I will have headwind. So that will, so that means I have tailwind at the moment. So that is a good thing. And the consumption is 29.1 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers at the moment. And I have to say, for this type of car, that is pretty good. I have seen a MG4 or a Cupra born in winter-ish conditions, and those did, I think, 26 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers while driving 130 kilometers per hour. Yes, I know, that was winter, this is summer, but still, I think 29.1 is a good value for this type of car. Good job, buzz. Buzz Lightyear, ID Buzz Lightyear? No, no, that's not it. 
I started the test with 74% and I arrived at the charger with 8%. So that means I've used 66%. On that 66% I have done 163 kilometers. So you can do in summer while driving 130 kilometers per hour, 247 kilometers with the ID Buzz. The average consumption was 29.8 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And I have to say though, for this type of car, I think this is a good and efficient result. Of course, in winter, you get less. In winter, you probably get a range of around 210 to 220 kilometers. Yeah, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied with this car. Oh my God, there's another huge bug in this car. Damn it. Don't leave your sliding door open because huge bugs are coming in during the evening. All right, um, yeah, I'm going to remove the bug. This was the test. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please give a like and subscribe. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And then I would like to say now, get away bug and to be continued.